<clears throat> okay, so I was digging through my flash drive and I discovered this old PowerPoint uh, that I made in the sixth grade. And from what I remember using it is in that we were required to use all the features of PowerPoint, which included audio clips. Which means that, well, it has it has my voice in it before it changed, so. Here we go. I'll... Hello, my name is Brandon and Judy, and this is my PowerPoint presentation on the Yukon Territory. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so it looks like there were technical issues from the differences between Microsoft Office 2007 and uh, Microsoft Office 2017. So this is going to be fun. All right, let's, let's continue. All right. Yep. The territorial leader of the Yukon Territory is Premier Dennis Fenty, who is the Minister of Finance. The caucus premier team of the premier is the Honorary Glenn Hart, who is the Minister of Health and Social Services, Honorary Marion Horn, who is the Minister of Justice, Honorary Jim Kenyon, who is the Minister of Economical Development, Honorary Archie James is the Minister of the Highways, Public Works, Communication Services, Energy, Mines, and Resources. The Honorary Patrick Robel is the Minister of Education. The Honorary Elaine Taylor is the Deputy Premier, also who is the Minister of Environment, Tourism, and Culture. Steve Nordax is the Deputy Speaker, and Honorary Ted Staffan is the House Speaker. Whew. That was rough. Um, apparently... Uh, back in the sixth grade, I, I couldn't be bothered to do a second take. And I guess I hadn't discovered on the internet you can download audio editing to make yourself sound a little nicer. Oh boy, this, this is going to be fun. Limbs and symbols. Oh. Mmm. Very nice. Didn't, didn't even bother t to take out the watermark. Oh. This, this is rough on the eyes, I'm not going to lie, this is pretty bad. And, uh... This, this, this is a pretty awful PowerPoint, even by kid standards, I don't know, man. But, uh... At, le at least we're learning a little about the Yukon here. And... Oh boy. Uh, no, no. Don't ever put a, a jife in your PowerPoint. That is, that's just, stop, stop it. Okay, keep moving on, keep moving on. So I guess uh, the the Yukon is really has has an official plaid. Okay, how white do you have to be when your territory has an official plaid? Like this is the official plaid of of Yukon. That is terrible. Okay, landmarks. If you told you only a few things, it take many sides, but I'll talk about that if I that if that if told you only a few things. Oh. I didn't even didn't even bother to proofread it. This is I was a good student. I got A's in my classes. What is this? Started by wouldn't you Oh my goodness, I was trying to be funny in a PowerPoint. Mmm. Mm, why did I think I could be funny? Not. Uh, that's not even a real sign. This is bad. 
this first, and you have to have one. I mean, first, but it's the first, and you have to have one to have. What was I think? What was I thinking? What was I thinking when I put this together? This is what is this? Akluan National Park and Reserve, home to Mount Logan, Canada's highest point. It also has some girth. Girth. Why did I tell? Why? Why did I say the mountain has girth? Why did no one stop me? Why didn't anyone stop me? I was a, quite the mad lad. Oh my, no, oh, this is gonna wreck you. This is gonna make YouTube very not happy. In terms of quality wise, hopefully they don't think uh, an old, outdated PowerPoint about Canada's not advertiser friendly. Yukon being north is cold. Good job. A plus, buddy. You can. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through this. Oh, no. This is. Okay. There's trying to be cute, and then there's this. How did I? How? Why did I get it? I don't. I don't even remember what I got on this on this project. But I don't. I don't think it was that great. No frost. Constant. Yeah, okay. Yep. So we've established that uh, the Yukon it's cold. They have really boring go uh, government people, and they have an official plaid. And I can't also write a. Th this is awful. This is not how you should write a PowerPoint at all. Do not do this. This this is a great example of how not to do. Oh, oh boy. Mm, more of my riveting spoken word. Here we go. Some interesting information about the Yukon Territory is that it is larger than California. And it only has 430 kilometers of seacoast along the Beaufort Sea. It covers more area than Belgium, Denmark, Germany, and Holland combined. If you thought I talked slowly in my videos, wait till you hear how slow I talked back then. Oof. Mm. Get out of here. I really should set these things. Let's just get through this. Okay. 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 Oh, more words. Mm. Yes. Don't stop. The main resources for the Econ Territory is logging, good, mining, mm -hmm. and fur production. Fur production. Fur production. <coughs> fur production. Industrial roundwood. Industrial what? Brings a total of two thousand dollars in two thousand seven. In fuel wood and fuel, firewood, fuel wood, firewood, ten thousand dollars in okay. two thousand seven. Talking about wood. The Makes sense considering the girthy mountain. Mineral wealth brought in fifty three thousand dollars. In fur production brought in three hundred eighty eight thousand nine hundred seventy nine dollars. The total production for <clears throat> power in megawatt hours is 369,934 megawatt hours of power. Are you having fun yet? Because I sure am not. Oh. Mm, good. Got the got talking about wood. Go with the girthy mountain. All right. This is. Um, I just assume this happens every day in Canada. I don't have a problem with this picture down here, on the right. This this is how I assume Canada is every day. You've just got a, a weird, a perfect uh, small town next to with a horse, with a horse policeman. This, this is how I assume it is in Canada. There we go. There are four periods in the Yukon Territory history. I bet they the are. 1750 to 1883 period, 1886 to 1900 period, the 1914 to 1953 period, and 1953 to the present day period. During the 1750 to 1883 period, trade reached its height from the coastal Indians to the interior Indians. Sir John Franklin looks for the Northwest Passage, mapping the coastline from the mouth of the Mackenzie River all the way to the mm -hmm. Alaskan North Slope. Indubitably. Robert Campbell creates Fort Selpers at the mouth of the Pelly River. Coastal traders by this time has run all the other traders out. The oh, Dominion good. of Canada is formed on July 1st, 1867. Good for them. Some prospectors crossed the Chicka Pass for the first some. time in prospecting. Don't know how many, the just some. Mile rivers next year. American oh, okay. Lieutenant Frederick Schwatter creates the first survey of the Yukon River. During River. the 1886 okay. to 1906 period, more than 200 prospectors arrived to establish a trading post on the Stewart River. 
A gold strike on the 40 Mile River draws people to it. Oh, good. That's kind of how a gold rush works. The 40 Mile River and becomes the first gold rush town. Coal is mined for the Yukon Territory as well, and whalers establish a base at Herschel Island. Inspector Constantine of the Northwest Mounted Police and 20 men are sent to maintain government status. Sukum Jim, George Carmax, Dawson Charlie strike gold on the Bonzana Creek, and as word spread, mm, this officially very starts professional the Klondike recording. Gold Rush. During the Klondike Gold Rush, back away from Gamma the microphone, July please. Of 1897, 100,000 people mm. left to go to the Yukon Territory, but only 30,000 made it. Oh, These people. people carried a ton, literally, of equipment. The Mounties helped. The miners, called Stampeders, Ooh. carry their lifeline. There are three routes. Easy and expensive, which is taking a boat down the Yukon River. The difficult and deadly, the all-Canadian route from Edmonton, Alberta, to Dawson City. Mm. And there's mm -hmm. the modern route, which would be the Chicken Pass. At this point, I think even back then I was they just saying use words. They stern-wheeler boats to get across the many lakes and rivers of this region. Boats called dredges were used to mine for gold. In okay. 1895, the Yukon Territory, as we know it today, oh, was, okay. was Good. part Finally of the, the present. Territory. It became part of it. Really? You can leave that blooper in there. In 1899, passed oh, the goodness. Yukon Territory oh, Act to make the Yukon separate from the Northwest Territories. Dawson City becomes the capital, and the White Pass and Yukon Route Railways mm. are established. Establish close off later Whitehorse and connects the city to Skagway, Alaska. Steve Sherman to travel the Yukon River funny. carrying people, mail, and supplies. A road now connects Dawson City to Whitehorse. Silver is shipped from the Mayor region and gold production falls in the Dawson City region. During the next period, specifically in the World War II, the Alaskan Highway is built to transport goods for the military. In the final period of Yukon Territory history, the 1953 to the present day, the coat of arms was accepted in 1956, and the flag was accepted in 1967. I think I'm just gonna do the rest of it from down here. This is this is who I am now. Cool. Uh, this, I'm gonna go. I'm going down. Yep. Let's go. The main rivers of the Yukon Territory is the Klondike River, mm. the Peel River, the Pelly River, the Stewart River, the Porcupine River, yep. and the Yukon River. Great. Jesus. The Yukon River alone is 2,300 meters long. Oh, is it now? And that makes it Canada's second largest river. Good. Cool. The Yukon Territory is triangle in shape. Ooh. It is 483,450 square kilometers. This, that's great. It is equals to 4.8 percent of Canada and is the ninth largest province slash territory in the landmass. It is the s smallest of the three territories. Good. I did not care at all about doing this. Ugh. Let's keep going. Let's get through this. We can do it. Really, hold on, hold on, I need to go back. Small but large. Small but large, how did I get, no, no. How did I get away with writing that? That's awful. Awful. Hey. There's, there's a, no. Graphic design is my passion here. Um, oh wait, no, there's, oh, there's more. There are two major cities in the Yukon Territory, Whitehorse, which is the capital. It is named after the rapids on the Yukon River. It became semi-important during the gold rush. It became important when copper was found. The city kept growing because of this. It went from a city of tents to an actual town. In World War II, the Alaska Highway was built to transport goods. On April 1st, 1953, Whitehorse officially became the capital of the Yukon Territory. The other major city of the Yukon Territory is Dawson City. It is named by Joseph Lauder after Dr. George Dawson. Many people came in the springtime. The town was almost lost in the wintertime, but they pulled through. The boomed 
Oh, they just happened to pull through. That would have been a lovely story to tell. The boom died slowly in this town, and Dawson City settled down and became stable. Yeah, the only thing stable right now is, uh, well, not me, that's for sure. This is slowly breaking me down. Okay, let's keep it moving. Oh boy, culture. Did I use the same picture? I think I used the same picture twice. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. I can't, I can't cringe anymore. I've hit peak cringe. Yukana, meaning Big River. The population of December of last okay. year was 33,000. Guess it just got cut off there at the beginning. The culture of the early people was based on <clears throat> tapestries, dialects, tapestries. arts, crafts, and tapestries. Reading and modern, simpler. Fur trade kicked off when European explorers arrived. As, as early as, people mm -hmm. traded furs for tobacco. There was no fur trading rice. going on until the white man showed up. Their lifestyle. Definitely what Hudson happened. When the Bay's company came to the Yukon Territory, the presence was not always welcomed. Oh, the oh. white man also brought Christianity the white to the man. people. See, even... Today, I woke back then. all the people in the Yukon Territory are Aboriginal and belonging to one of the 14 First Nations. White Horse has a culture from Europe to Asia. Only 32,000 people smoothest transitions from point to point. Uh, the population was higher in eight. Dawson City reached 30,000 population wise. Cut. Okay. Rush. It's the fine. Early people spoke many languages. Many. Not, don't know how many, they just Southern spoke Christian, a lot. Kaska, Tagish, Tlingit, oh, and Upper Tanania. Their art was highly intricate and integrated their nature and their beliefs. Good for them. First Nations have turned modern crafts into art. Schools are public or Roman Catholic. Many offer elementary, junior, or junior Schools? high, which oh. is kindergarten to ninth grade. Senior high, which is 10 to 12th grade, is offered in only nine cities. Yukon College nine City. White Horse is the only higher schooling in mm. the Yukon Territory. If, okay. In the Yukon Territory. This... Higher education in the Yukon. Okay, okay. Well, that was, I was wrong. We could go lower. And we did because that sounds sounded like it was cobbled together by hand. Like I just took the raw sound and just stapled it together. Just you know, just took staple and just. Ugh. But it looks like we're at the bibliographies, which means this is mercifully over. Um, and it's apparently it's, oh, did I have it set up so? Oh, good. I thought this was worth scrolling movie credits. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we went on this educational journey about Canada together. Um, I... Oh, no, we're not starting this again. We are done. Uh, see you all next week. If I don't die.